Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the IP address of your network interface card in a Linux system in order to connect to a Kubro Packet Master Series network packet broker at its default IP address of 192.168.0.200. I'm currently on a fresh install of Linux Mint, which is an Ubuntu-based distribution, which in turn is based on Debian. However, the commands I'm going to show you should apply universally across all Linux systems. The first thing we're going to do is open up a terminal window. And there's really two sets of commands that we can use to accomplish this task. There's the older ifconfig, which is widely used as the default um, command set on a Linux distribution. And then there's the somewhat newer IP command set, which is slowly replacing ifconfig. Some distributions, such as the newer Debian distributions, don't have ifconfig installed by default, and they use the IP command set. So I'm just going to show you both so that regardless of which one you encounter, you're able to use it. So at our command prompt, if we type ifconfig, we're going to get a list of our network adapters. And we'll see that my physical network adapter here is named ENP2S0. This, could, this name will vary depending on the system that you're on, and typically you're going to see something like ETH0. We see that I have an IP address right now of 192.168.1.8. And we're going to go ahead and use the ifconfig command to alter the settings of this network adapter. So the next thing we're going to type is sudo, because we need administrative or root privileges on our system in order to make changes to the network adapters. If we're not already logged in as root, we're going to have to preface these commands with sudo. And then ifconfig and enp, the name of my network adapter, and we're going to type down, and this is going to take the network adapter offline for the changes that we're about to make. No response is a good response. The next thing that we're going to do is sudo ifconfig and then again the name of our network adapter and we're going to follow this with the IP address that we want to assign to the adapter. I'm going to use 192.168.0.100 to put myself on the same subnet as the Packet Master's default IP and speaking of subnet the next thing that we have to add is the netmask which is our subnet address, and in this command we're going to type that out in octal format 255.255.255.0. Lastly, we're going to add a broadcast IP address, 192.168.0.255 in this case, and we're going to hit enter. You'll see that Mint brought my network adapter back online immediately after issuing that command. That may not always happen with your distribution, so you're going to need to run a sudo ifconfig enp2so up in order to complete this process. Now if we run ifconfig, we will see that my network adapter has an IP address of 192.168.0.100 and also that same subnet mask is the default IP of the packet master. At this point, I should be able to connect to my network packet broker on its default IP address. And we'll see here that I can in fact do that. And once we get done making all of our configuration changes on our packet master, we're probably going to want to go back to the IP address that we were using previously. And then there's a few ways that you can do that. You can either reissue this command set using the IP address that you had prior to 192.168.0.100, or you can also take the interface down with ifconfig and down, and you can issue the sudo dh client and then the name of your network adapter. And this is going to set your adapter back to receiving its IP address automatic through, automatically through DHCP. Uh, I'm not actually on a network with a DHCP server, so if I were to issue this command, this is going to hang up on us until I kill it uh, manually. So I'm not actually going to issue that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring our adapter back up. And now I'm going to show you the IP command set. Okay, so for IP, if we type IPA and we hit enter, we're going to get another display of our network adapters on our system. We can see my physical network adapter right here. And in order to assign an IP address to this now, I'm going to type sudo IPA, or I'm sorry, we're going to take the network adapter down first. So we're going to do sudo IP link and then ENP link set ENP 2S0 down. And this is the equivalent command to the ifconfig down command. 
now that my network adapter is taken offline, I can do sudo IPA add 192.168.0.100 and we'll do a forward slash 24 because this command uses CIDR notation. And then we're going to do dev and then the name of my network adapter, emp2s0. Again, we'll see that Mint brought my adapter back online automatically, but in most systems, we're going to follow this up with the IP link set emp2s0 up command. Now running IPA, we can see that I have assigned myself an IP address of 192.168.0.100. I can connect to my packet master, make the configurations necessary to get it on my network, and then we can return to our former IP address on our system by reissuing the same set of commands or also that DH client command that I showed earlier. Okay, so this is um, this is everything regarding changing the IP address of your network adapter in a Linux system. This should work on any distribution you come across, one of these two command sets. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.